Hi all. It's 2am. I just wanted to get this vlog done, dusted, because then while I'm messing around tomorrow doing things, I can just leave it to edit. Or render, I should say. Anyway, in this vlog, we are going to cover bicycles. Well, more specifically, an e-bike. Road lamps, or barricade lamps. Uh, computers. And I think that's about it. I could cover My Little Pony, but uh, I'm getting a bit too tired for that. I might do that in the morning. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to start with bikes, because uh, I'm staring straight at it at the moment, because I'm sitting on the bed. Here we go. It's now the second of these bikes I've had. An MTB Reflex. Um, I had a visit from Cat's Custom Trikes. This was her e-bike. It had all the motorised front wheel in the front and whatnot. Um, but what she wants me to do... Is, uh, well, as you can see, it no longer has a motorised wheel. Because she gave me the bike. I, the bike is mine. She just wanted the wheel, the seat, and a cycle computer. That was on the handlebars. So, what I've got to swap is the seat. Everything else I've taken off already. So, uh, anyway. What she wanted me to do is, basically, try and uh, shoehorn this electric stuff onto her um, Stingray chopper bike, which is actually out back as well. Uh, to make that an e-bike. The only problem is the Stingray Chopper has a 24 inch front wheel. These are 26. Now, I don't think there's going to be much of a problem. May not be able to use the front brake, but so long as the rear brake is actually good enough, one should be sufficient. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to see what it's like. I'll, before I do what she wanted me to do. I'm just going to stick the front wheel in and see if it's going to work. Because uh, what she wants me to do is take the motor, the hub motor, out of the wheel that came out of this bike. And uh, put it into the wheel, the front wheel, that's on the um, Stingray at the moment. Which means probably getting some spokes that will fit. Uh, and trying my hand at building a wheel. Which I failed at before, so... <laughs> we'll see. Practice makes perfect. Anyway. So yes, yeah, so I've got the battery here. I've got s at least six speed controllers. You know, the throttle things, the twist ones, and a one you press down with a thumb. And there's a couple of light switches in there, and... Three silver boxes that contain all the electronics to run everything. A couple of these little ones and a big one. Uh, so yeah, that should... All that stuff sh should shoehorn onto the bike quite easily. It's the uh, wheel that's going to be a pain in the bum. But uh, we'll get there. So, I has a bike. And it is in working order, actually. I believe the gears work. I haven't touched them, but I have changed them, and they do seem to work. Um, the only thing I had to do was make an adjustment on the rear brake, to my own preference, because I intend to keep it. Fixed the broken mudguard. Bodged it, but, well, sort of bodged it. It works. When I got it, or when she bought it over, this section was duct taped to this section, because... The end of this section is actually up here. I've uh, overlapped it, drilled some holes and put some bolts in to hold it much more securely and it looks a bit tidier than um, duct tape. Because, yeah, this bit split from this bit and there's like a big chunk completely missing on one side, which is why I overlapped it. So it's actually a lot short. This should actually be down here somewhere. But I'm not fussed about that bit. You know, I'm not fussed about that being higher than it should be. But the mudguard's on again. You know, it didn't take me long just to drill those three holes and put those bolts in. Um, front brake was, the cable was totally disconnected, so I had to reconnect that and 
for some reason the brake blocks were loose as well and actually the uh, bolt here on the other side was loose as well so I had to sort all that out not sure why they were all loose uh, but either way you know this is going in my keeper pile my keep pile as we say uh, about a week or so ago I got hold of a black full suspension bike I think I mentioned this in one of the previous videos I might not have but uh, I've put that up for sale because I no longer want that I want to get something else to pull my trailer with and I need a little bit of little bit of green at the minute well actually it's not green over here is it it's brown purple and I'm just not sure what you'd class to five pound note so as would that be blue or green sort of a turquoise colour anyway uh, road lamps next because I'm also standing over here so a plan hopefully when I get paid next Thursday to add at least one more lamp to the collection if I can I'm going to add a few uh, um, there's someone selling a large job lot of lamps starting bid 50 quid and if you're willing to arrange postage he will ship them I've already asked that when he had them listed before now he's relisted them and I'm only interested in two of the, in the job lot now I know he's already separated two for another collector because the collector has uh, posted them up on one of the groups but the two I'm interested in are two versions of this uh, one's got red lenses not the amber one like this one's got and one's got a white lens with a blank plate on the other side those are the only two I want so if he's willing to separate and we can agree on a price I'll buy them I'm, I'm not care I'm not cared I don't care if they're a bit beaten up and tatty I've got better lamp bodies like this down in the shed so I can swap the lenses so I'm not fast on condition apart from condition of the lens really uh, there's a couple of other job lots I've actually got my eye on there's a job lot of four maxi lights I've got my eye on it's just getting the cash together and the only reason I want them is because they've got different stickers on <laughs> so to me they're a different type you know a variation of the same light uh, and the guy doesn't really want a lot for all four out of my whole collection these maxi lights are probably the cheapest and the easiest ones to get hold of so if you actually want to start a collection you could find these on eBay going cheap you know I mean I've got one two three four maxi lights up there different types and about another five down in the shed <laughs> yeah I've got plenty <laughs> And I literally paid £10. Well, actually, there's two up there that would... No. I think there's three up here that were generously given to me. Or did I buy one? I can't remember now. I know there's at least one up there that this one was generously given to me. This one's got what they call a tilt switch. It turns on when you do that. You lay it like that. And it turns off, and I think the circuit board's fallen out of it. <laughs> yeah, that one was generously given to me. Yeah, I bought a box of ten for ten pounds. Quite a few years ago now. I was like, oh, road lights, bargain price, buy them. Yeah, now I'm stuck with the damn things because he can't sell them. Because <laughs> that's what I was going to do, and I was going to sell the surplus ones. Nope. <laughs> they're that common it's like uh, these you can find these and you can find the Chinese knockoffs of these on eBay as well but uh, the ones that actually hold the prices are these blue ones and the red version I wouldn't mind one day getting the strobe version of the red one that's just an ordinary lamp that one got the ordinary bulb in it like this one that one's actually got the strobe 
hence the high voltage warning on it. Don't know if you can see that. You know, it's got the caution high voltage. Yeah. When that's if you've opened that up, you know, like straight after turning it on, don't touch the contacts. Not without shorting them out with a screwdriver first, because that will give you one hell of a shock. Right. Computers, that's the last subject for this part of the video. Um, turn you around again. My brother's having that case back, so I've taken all my uh, motherboard and CD drive out of it. Um, and I've also put the red fans back in there, because I put the red fans from that into that one. So I've now put the white fans back in there, because he wanted the red fans, so I thought, yeah, fair enough. I'm not first. So I've done that, put the side panel on, I've got the bag of bits to go in there, and that can go back to Mum's next time I go over. And then he can sit and build it up. Uh, as you know, I've built that new one in the lounge, which uh, so far, touch wood, is actually working really well, apart from a glitch with Facebook Game Room, which I'll get into in a minute. Anyway, the stuff from that went into my old case. Because I really don't know why. I've had that case for six years, but I just love it. I love that case. Like I said, I don't know why. I just love that case. So I'm building it up in here and I've actually got an upgrade on the front of here. I've got USB 3 because the Intel motherboard in there actually has the socket for the front USB 3. Pardon me, USB 3s. Didn't really need it. I mean, it's got four on the motherboard plus two USB 2s. Then I've got the two USB 2s up here, which are also connected on the motherboard. <laughs> as well as the USB port on the card reader. Three fans. I've got 120mm fan there. Light up one. Um, the brightest one I've got. I've got three over there, but one of them's got a broken LED out of the four. One of them don't light. And the other two are actually dim as hell. Again, you know, they're... Actually, I've had those fans on that case for a good three years. It's a high mileage. High mileage. Very high mileage, actually. Um, front fan is the bigger version of that, and it doesn't light up, which I'm not fussed about. I've got another idea for that anyway. And the rear one doesn't light up either, which, again, I'm not too fussed about. So I've just got to find two new fans to put in the top. They're not that expensive. Fans are probably one of the cheapest things you can buy. Though, I wouldn't go too cheap. Because if you get the cheap Chinese ones, you'll find that they are rather noisy. And if you don't like noisy fans, then they ain't going to be good, is it? Alright, let me turn this light on again. So yeah, after that debacle with this the other day, it's been running sweet as a nut. I can't complain, apart from, like I said, uh, Facebook game room shit in the bed on me. It just crashed. I was playing a game, and I was on a Skype call, and the game crashed, so I closed the app, went to try and reopen it, and it wouldn't open. So, I rebooted the PC. It still wouldn't open. So I uninstalled it, Downloaded the app again, tried to reinstall it, and it wouldn't even open the um, installation app. Wouldn't even run it. So, and I know it's, I don't know what's wrong, because I tried a few other different things, installed a few other things, and it installs it fine. So I don't know what the issue, the issue is just with Facebook Game Room. Something's gone, you know, tits up, as we say. But yeah, touch wood. She's been a good machine. She worked just as well as the old one, actually. Just faster. <laughs> Fresh install of Windows 10. Um, you know, I'll put 500, two 500 gig drives in there. It would have been three. This one is not being seen, so I don't know if this is a dud one. Uh, but this has got May 2008 on it, so it's quite an old one. You know, it might even be faulty. 
This Green Power One is my original one that the, um, the OS got corrupted on just from me, you know, taking it in and out of a computer. <laughs> and this has got, uh, I think it's June, yeah, June 2009, so a year and a month after that one. A year and a month newer. But the only reason I didn't choose to reuse this one, even though it works fine, apart from, you know, the OS getting corrupted somehow and not wanting to boot properly, is because it's high mileage. Very high mileage, actually. Um, the thing is with me, my computers are on, or my computer is on, about 12 not 12, probably closer to 10 hours a day at least. Most days, not every day because I'm not here on Sundays and I might turn it off if I go out during the week as well. So, But uh, most days it's on 10 hours a day-ish, 365 days a year. Well, actually no, that's a lie. And like I said, it's not on all day on a Sunday and it's not on Christmas because I'm not here <laughs> on Christmas Day. So... Yeah, if you just imagine, I'm going to say it's probably on 10 hours a day for at least 6 days a week. So, for 6 years. That's a lot of hours on that hard drive. It's a lot of hours on the motherboard and them fans as well. So, uh, can you understand why I wanted to get another PC and, you know, do some upgrades? <laughs> And plus, my one was just so slow. Well, it was slow when I had it on Windows 7, so... Basically, the only thing that got upgraded was the operating system, when it automatically upgraded to Windows 10. It didn't improve speed or performance. I mean, with this one, I turn it on, go for a pee, come back, and it's booted and ready to use. It couldn't have been. What I used to do is come in here, turn it on, go to the bathroom, take a pee, come back, sign in, because I had to sign in. Don't have to do that on this one. Then I'll go and get dressed. And if I was lucky, in that five minutes or so that it takes me to get dressed, that would have booted up and be ready to use it. In fact, most of the time I came through and the, the hard drive LED was still flashing away. So, yeah, so low, and the processor was crap. I've sold the motherboard anyway. Got ten pounds for that. It's a nice motherboard, you know. It's served me well. Foxconn. It's the second Foxconn motherboard that has served me well. Can't complain about Foxconn. Probably one of my favourite brands and favourite one that I would go to. And I no, that's an MSI in there. But uh, I could have just kept reusing this, you know. I just changed the hard drive and reinstalled Windows 10. But this was maxed out on specs anyway. You know, I do believe that, that the 4 gig, the, four, the quad core 3 gigahertz processor in there, AMD, was the highest one that would go in this motherboard. And I, the most RAM you can put on here is 8 gigabytes, and that's what I had, so... Spec-wise, I could not upgrade this motherboard anymore. I was maxed out. Whereas, the MSI that came with that computer... I can upgrade a heck of a lot more. So, currently got 12 gigabytes of RAM on that. Yeah. Because <laughs> so I swapped that 4 gigabyte stick with my brother. That came with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 when I got it. Um, 1333 megahertz. My brother's just bought a motherboard bundle that came with a 4 gigabyte 1333 megahertz RAM stick. And of course, to upgrade mine, my old 8 gigabyte stick is a 1650 megahertz. So we swapped because he had a 4 gigabyte 1650 megahertz stick there. So, what was it 1600? I can't remember something like that. So, we just swapped, so I've now got 12 gigs on this beast. Oh, the only other issue is, the front USB ports don't work properly. 
Um, I can transfer video footage from this to the computer using the rear USBs perfectly fine at a normal USB 2 speed but not with the front two for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why. <laughs> It has got built-in card reader, you know, it's got that little slot on the top there. So, we'll see, shall we? We'll see. I could try again, that might have just been a glitch that fixed with an update. Well, that was the thing as well, Facebook Game Room was working until Windows 10 did the one of its big updates. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not fussed too much. I use the laptop now for my Facebook games. And for Skype calls, because my friends can actually hear me better through the laptop. So that's why I now keep that there. And I'm going to sort that corner out in the morning and put that properly up in the corner. But on that note, I'm going to turn the camera off. And we'll talk to you again in the morning. It's Saturday afternoon now. 5.39 to be exact. I'll prob probably be in a Skype call. I nearly said a chat call. What else do you do on a bloody call? <laughs> in a Skype call around about 8, maybe 9. I do want to get myself into a bath. And just chill in a bath for an hour or so. Knowing me, probably two hours. Knowing me, the water will probably be stone cold by the time I get out of it. But never mind. Um, computer is still working fine, apart from its random self restart earlier today. <laughs> no idea what happened. I just someone replied to me inquiring about the uh, mountain bike I've got for sale, so I just started typing the reply back, and it rebooted itself. <laughs> So, yeah, apart from that, you know, it's working fine. I've even got Facebook Game Room working again now. Um, the only sort of niggle is I've got to right-click and run as admin... Ad, ad, bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, I've got to run it like that. Mm. I've got to run it as an administrator. For some reason it won't work if I just normally click on it. But uh, I used the um, application troubleshooter that comes with Windows 10 to um, get it working again, so... I don't know, I just decided to have a poke around with it again this lunchtime, but it's working now. It's a bit of a drag, you know, I've got to do that extra click, right click, and then... Extra two clicks, actually. Right click, run as administrator, and then click run when the little window comes up. But test you on the way it works, so I like playing my game, so I don't care. <sighs> and I've also now seen from two YouTubers that a website called VidMe um, is now shutting down, shutting down on the 14th. Um, Because uh, one of the YouTubes actually bailed on YouTube and went over to VidMe. Because uh, he was just sick and tired of, you know, YouTube censoring things that you say, you know. Can't say certain things, can't put certain things in your titles. Because it won't be suitable for all advertisers. Hey. It's a load of bollocks. You know, free speech doesn't exist. And I don't mean that that you got to say things that make you an asshole. I mean, you can't put the word Christmas in your title. I ain't kidding. There's a Christian I have watch on YouTube, Classic Truck Rescu Rescue. The um, guy that runs that is Christian, along with his wife. Excellent couple. Love watching their videos, love them to bits. But he had a video demonetized, and it said, you know, not suitable for all advertisers, just because he put the word Christmas in the title. 
Christmas giveaway because he's giving away one of his old trucks as a as a thank you to all his subscribers, you know, for making his channel what it is, basically. And he couldn't do it. He had to take it down, and this is how he found out that it was the word Christmas, because he took the video back down, changed the word Christmas to holidays, put it back up, and the video was absolutely fine. So I can understand vlogging life, um, getting a bit peeved with that and buggering off to another site, but... Now the site he buggered off to is now closing down, so he's come back. I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised actually, that um, I got a notification from his channel. I thought I was totally dead. Forgotten I'd even, I was even still subscribed to it. Although I do believe he's lost a heck of a lot of subscribers. But maybe they'll come back now that he's back on YouTube. I know he just vlogs like I do, you know, hence his name, Vlog and Life, or the channel name. And he used to do a vlog every day, but even, you know, he said it's just, it's too difficult. You'd run out of things to talk about, you'd run out of things to do, that's what I, used to happen to me. You, know, you find, well, I still repeat myself anyway, I'm like a broken record, I think. Uh, I can hear you, where are you? You're right up that end. Yeah. <laughs> if I could help you, my friend, I would. But I can't post a PC tower to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will cost an arm and a leg. And I know you don't have the funds for the postage either, so... I could probably provide a couple of bits. I've got an FM2 for AMD. As it's FM2, I'm presuming it would be better than FM1. Well, actually, she says here FM1, FX, or better. So, Intel and LGA 1156, I can't remember. I believe that's what my Intel is through there. Four gigs of RAM. Well, you're looking for a gaming rig with four gigs of RAM. Which has struggled to browse these days with two gigs of RAM. I'm just glad this beast has now got 12. <coughs> I could spend the money, you know, and upgrade that process, and I'd have quite a decent little rig sitting there, I think. But, like my brother said, for the same price, I can upgrade the processor in this one, so. <laughs> What do I do? Do I eventually do it with both? Pardon me. I mean, do I use the one... Or do I upgrade the one I'm currently using first, and then this one, or... Do I upgrade this one and get that one into service? I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to sit on the bed for a minute. Oh, this bed's cold. That window's closed as well. Huh. I've got a big gap there, there's no longer a bike. That's downstairs, in the shed. It's got an issue I need to fix. One actual issue. Um, actual re repair, I suppose. And that's the um, crank. Um, it's got a three-speed crank, three gears at the front, and the top one's gone. And I only noticed that because I took it for a test ride, and the chain would not stay in that gear. Drailer is adjusted fine. It goes up there, and if I pedal it nice and slowly, it actually stays on there. But when I'm riding along, you know, with a bit of speed, will not stay up there. Because there's warm teeth where they're worn to a point, and there's actually quite a few that have broken. So I'm going to look in my cupboard. Because I know I cleared out a ton of bike parts, but I kept a lot of the decent bits. I kept quite a few cranks, so I'll go up and uh, have a look up there, see if I can find something that I can uh, replace it with. It's more or less the same size. Or is it? It's a 21 speed, isn't it? 
But uh, rides nicely other than that, you know, if I used, if I just use first and second at the front, it'll ride fine. But uh, my legs aren't used to those gears, you know, my legs go around far too quickly. <laughs> I need tougher gearing, which is why mine's always, my bikes, that is, are always in third gear at the front. I just use the rear gears. Oh yeah. Going back to computers. I've bought a power supply for that. Because uh, that sold on eBay this morning, so I thought, yeah, I'll bite the bullet and I'll gamble. And I'll, uh, <laughs> and I, bag fell out of that orange bag over the back and landed straight in the big Sports Direct one. Yeah, anyway. I thought I'll take a gamble with it. If it doesn't work, I'll throw the whole lot back on eBay. Simple. And I know even a spares or repairs, I'll at least get my money back for the adapter because that thing hasn't cost me anything. I'll even leave the RAM in it because I can't be asked to take it out because you've actually got to take the bloody motherboard out to get the RAM out. I ain't kidding. I'll take the friggin' motherboard out to change the RAM, so. And I've got plenty of RAM in my cupboard for laptops, so. I don't need it. Right. Two packages there to post Monday. This one to pack and post. Just got to find a um, suitable box. I've got Lego boxes, which are the right width and length, but they're not deep enough. <laughs> they're a bit too, you know, shallow, because they're only about that wide. And with the heat sink, it didn't matter with uh, that vintage slot one uh, motherboard because it didn't have a heat sink or anything on it. You know, it's quite narrow, but when you have something like that sticking up, because I mean, I've included those with it, obviously not the RAM because I don't have the RAM, but I did take photos of this motherboard uh, with RAM installed and to show it working. So I'd connected it up to the monitor through here, just to show it working. I did say there was no RAM included. It was just there to show it working. <clears throat> yeah, oh, I've got a tire there that could go downstairs. And, uh, no luck setting Cat's Custom Trikes, um, motorised front wheel. Seems like we'd have better luck and someone has opened this because the screw holes for that bracket are inaccessible <laughs> oh actually no they haven't the QC sticker is there oh, that's weird so how would you unless that QC sticker would be on the inside I don't know No, it's round the other way on this one, so yeah, someone's been in there and turned that one round. Maybe they turned it round for whatever it was mounted on. Possibly. I bought something in a charity shop this morning and I can't remember what it was. And I bought some Lego as well from my favourite Lego shop. He let me have it for five pounds. See, a big bag of tiles. And tiles are just basically Lego bricks without any studs on top. Uh, but I need a bunch of them, so I saw that bag and I was like, yep, I'm definitely having it. Uh, what else did I buy? I actually can't find it. I think it was a PS2 game and a torch that was still in its packet. But I can't remember where I put it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. That was 50p in this charity shop. Because uh, it's sort of split into two rooms, this particular charity shop. And the back room, is, everything in it is 50p. Nemo's making a lot of noise. I just saw that and I thought, don't think I have any Call of Duty games for the PS2, so... 
And for 50p I thought, yeah, I'll grab that. And I sort of felt bad, you know, just buying one item for 50p, so... I know I don't really need any more torches, so I just grabbed that for a pound. Swivel head torch. I haven't got a flat area on my PC now to stand you up there. I haven't got a stack of CDs over here either now. Um... Shit. <laughs> Did I tell you I went down to Wilco's and got the handlebar grips for the black and red bike as well and put those on? As I said with that, it's, uh, it's actually quite a nice bike to ride. It's uh, just got that annoying little hitch at the minute. Technical glitch with the crank. It's repairable. I'm not going to go out and spend money buying a new one. If I have to just, if I haven't got one that fits and I've got to just, you know, use the two gears. <laughs> two gears for now, stop interrupting Luna, please. Um, then I will until such time as uh, I come across a replacement. Right. I'll be in a scope call most likely later tonight. It's nice to uh, you know sit and chat with friends. It's what I actually like about Skype. I can sit here and I can chat to friends. We can talk about my little pony and whatever else we want to talk about because all the friends I talk to are bronies as well. You know, everyday th our YouTube channels. That's a common one. You know. And at the same time, I can sit here and just play around on this. But I use my laptop now. I think I said that last night. I use the laptop for... Uh, Skype calls. Just because they can hear me better. Oh, I see. So you open it up to turn it on. It's got a little... It's quite old because... Uh, they don't come with... Uh, Nemo's got one of his funky moods on. He's running around the flat like a headless chicken at the minute. Yeah, it's got an incandescent blub in it, so... It's not going to be the most efficient. To be honest, it doesn't really give off a beam of light either. Uh, in all honesty, it's pretty shit. <laughs> but it lights up, and I like things that light up. I have no idea what all that was. <laughs> it's pocket size, so it, you know, you chuck it in your pocket. Chuck it in the glove box of a car, I suppose. Especially this time of year, because you don't know when you're going to need one. Well, I think that's actually pretty. You don't know, that could be LED. That's handy as well, because you can stand up. You've got like a little lantern. I can't see it lasting long. So that's what I think it could. Is that an LED in there? I think that might actually be. It's hard to see. If it's not an LED, it's going to be one of those, what they call a grain of wheat bulbs, which is a tiny little thing like that. Which is something they used to use in toys before the invention of LEDs. When they wanted things to light up on toys. Hello.
Someone's actually asked about the bike. Yes, it's still for sale. Rude to put stuff, list stuff on eBay, but I haven't sorted anything out yet. PayPal receipt for paying for that power supply, which I hope will get posted Monday, and I hope I'll get it Wednesday, maybe Thursday. And then fingers crossed, we can test this bloody laptop and see if it works. Could be great if it does. Very good. Excuse me. I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about. Not in this video anyway. Now I do want to get a bath, I have got to go and lock my bike up. Um, it's about 8, 9 o'clock. Should be at least three of us in the Skype call. I don't know for how long. Um, sometimes it's a couple of hours, sometimes it's like six hours. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I want to get all that done before. I jump on the call. So, thanks for watching, as always. Any comments, leave them down below, and I'll uh, talk to you all again soon. Bye!